everyone and welcome. Today at the Things.io we're going to show you how to display the data you are sending with your Sigfox devices. First of all, let's go to the Things. If it's your first time you're creating a new thing, please read carefully the following instructions. If not, just press Start Creating Products. Now let's create a new product. Please type the name of the product. And select Akeru slash Smart Everything as the word. Make sure the format you are using is Sigfox. Now create. Inside the product, there's the subscription URL that you need to copy. Now let's move to the Sigfox backend. In the Sigfox backend, as you click on device, you can see all your connected devices using Sigfox. Now click on your preferred device. Let's move to callbacks and now click on new to create a new callback. Click on custom callback and make sure you use the post HTTP method. On the URL pattern, please paste the previous URL. Finally, press OK. Now let's move again to the things I use. Now the product is receiving all the data from Sigfox, but it's not parsed. So we need to create functions in order to extract the variables. In Cloud Code, move to Function, click on the function with the same name as the product. In this case, Sigfox Temperature and Humidity. Let's edit it. Inside the code statement, please copy and paste from the GitHub example all the code related to the Sigfox parser. We have a function called parseF which passes the float from an hexadecimal variable received from Sigfox. The result will be two variables. The first one will be the temperature and the second one the humidity. Let's save it. Now let's move to the dashboard to start building our dashboard. I'm going to create some widgets in order to display all the data sent via Sigfox. First, click on the cross. Add widget. Specify an end for the widget name. And select Think Resource as a data source. Inside, select the product you just created before. In our case, Sigfox temperature and humidity. Select a name thing and finally select one of the two resources we just specified humidity or temperature we want to show the historical values and we will, these values it will be displayed by lines in real time now specify the number of values you want to see in the widget let's specify 5 and the unit to display it will be the percentage. Now choose the color. We will choose blue. And we will show the temperature as degrees in red. Okay, here they are. I hope you enjoyed this video and please stay tuned for newer videos. Thank you.